Thank you for joining me to another episode of I bought the stock before I knew what the hell I was doing and now I'm trying to justify the purchase with Alex. So today we're talking about Siemens and I realize I'm going to have to check the closed captions for this because uh, sometimes for English speakers the name of this company is a bit weird. But it's one of the biggest companies in Germany and uh, since I'm German I really wanted to buy it. And um, I bought it because of the long-term outlook of renewable energies and what Siemens has in the field and the kind of growth that they're expecting long-term. So um, Siemens does a lot of things in power, as I mentioned, in mobility. They have locomotives and uh, all kinds of things, um, all kinds of electronic motors. They do digital stuff, they have phones, they have phone systems, they have video conferencing, they have a lot of things. They have a lot of health stuff as well. So Siemens is a company that you'd see a lot in a German hospital. Surprisingly not as much here, but you still do see them if you pay attention. So the price is 49.23 right now, um, which is slightly up yesterday when the market was up over 1%, so lagging a bit behind the market, but obviously day to day that doesn't matter much. Um, PE of 12, which is pretty good. Um, now I bought this stock when it was a lot higher. I think I paid $64 for the shares. Um, so they've come down significantly from there and um, I'm clearly expecting them to go up long term. I don't really care much what happens short term. And um, they also have a lot of business in the traditional power field, like gas turbines and stuff like that. So um, clearly that is going to become more and more insignificant in what they're doing. Now the dividend yield right now is 4.46%, which is pretty decent, with a payout ratio of 70%, which is not terrible. Um, it's not great, but uh, that that's kind of where you should be, I guess, is what I'm saying. 70% um, is a good payout ratio because you have 30% of your net income to reinvest and grow the business and you pay out 70%. So the, there's still quite a bit of room for growth for the company. Um, it's not like they're paying out like 95% like Walmart does and uh, it's not like they're paying out 20% like Apple. But 70% uh, is actually a good number for a payout ratio. Revenue growth last year minus 1%, um, obviously not terrible, but a downward move is never great. Um, again, they have a lot of business in the traditional power market where um, coal power plants are now more expensive than solar. So clearly the coal and uh, even natural gas power plants are going to start to die out with the renewable energy taking their market share. Um, the problem is that the wind power production actually did not grow as much as I thought it would last year. Um, I do see wind power growing quite a bit in the future, obviously solar as well. And um, in wind power, I think Siemens is very well positioned. Earnings growth minus 4%, which is kind of to be expected when the revenue goes down. Um, they obviously have a lot of people working for them and a lot of people means a lot of people that need to get paid, that need to get raises, they need to, you know, grow their earnings at least with inflation. And um, when you have 350,000-ish people working for you, that kind of takes a toll there. Um, Obviously, if the revenue starts growing again, I don't see the earnings growth to be as significant or the the lack thereof be as significant as the revenue growth. So I think that they're going to grow their earnings quite a bit in the future. So total assets of $139 billion, total liabilities $91 billion, and net tangible assets of $7 billion which for a company as huge as Siemens is, is not great. So the balance sheet doesn't, it, it's definitely not terrible, but it does not look too great. So um, they have a lot of factories, a lot of um, facilities, a lot of uh, 
headquarter buildings and stuff like that. So, um, in general, I would say that the assets to liabilities ratio is pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say perfect, uh, but it's definitely way up there. Um, net tangible assets, pretty low, um, especially with a cash flow of 5 billion. So obviously, as I mentioned, for a growth investor, 1% is not great. Um, historic growth, like historic over the past few years has not been good, but I think that can turn around quickly depending on how the macroeconomic um, factors change, um, especially with so many things that they have their hands in. Um, and on the other side, it's a business that is so well diversified that any single factor tanking is not going to affect the whole company in a huge way. So I think that it's fairly recession proof in the way that it's so well diversified into things that definitely still need to be bought, like medical equipment and things like that, um, that in a recession, I mean, they're going to take a hit, but they're not going to take a huge hit. Um, and also the PE of 12 is already quite low. So again, for a growth investor, definitely not a company you should be looking into. For a value investor, a PE of 12, for a company that produces that much stuff in that many sectors, is probably a good investment. And for a dividend investor, you have a very safe company that pays a decent dividend. They only pay it once per year, but still. Um, I think it's uh, late January, early February. Um, dividend uh, of over 4%, pretty good. Payout ratio, pretty good. Um, and uh, it's a very safe company. They've been around for like 100 years. So uh, for a dividend investor, I definitely think you should be looking into it. For a value investor, um, definitely do your research because then there might be better companies out there right now. Um, but with how safe the company is, I think it's definitely a good choice for a value investor as well. So do your research, look into it. Definitely, definitely seems like a good company to look into, especially with how much they dropped over the past year. So that's it for today. Um, if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.